This one is definitely a lot larger than the ones that I've been working on. It is a solar shade structure that's doubling as a carport as well. And the fact that they can use solar and piggyback that with using it as a shade structure to also work on vehicles as well on his own property, which is cool. Uh, my name is Matt Danley, uh, field supervisor and field welder. Uh, I've been welding for six years. I got into the trade because it was very interesting. Um, I was very intrigued by welding. I came from sales, and ever since I went to trade school, I was kind of hooked on the whole welding process, so I dove into it since then. It is a solar shade structure that's doubling as a carport as well for his vehicles and a little bit of shaded work area as well. Starting from the ground up, so having the concrete kind of set in and then building our level plates from there and making sure everything's kind of leveled all around, starting on the corners and then working our way in. Measure twice and cut once, so make sure everything is nice and level before any weld takes place because that's the part that glues everything together. So pretty much just starting at the base, making sure everything's level from the ground and then adding the vertical uprights from there and making sure those are all square all the way around. As long as the welds are solid and all the way through, the shade structure will be very solid too as well, with him, a lot of anything pretty much that comes at it. This one is definitely a lot larger than the one that I've been working on. And the fact that they can use solar and and piggyback that with using it as a shade structure to also work on vehicles as well on his own property, which is cool. Not so much challenges, it's kind of the only thing that would hinder that is whether your machine can output enough power to kind of cook through that. The carbon steel, kind of basic with structural metal and fabrication just for its strength and rigidity. Thinner ones have their own challenges being so thin, you can kind of blow through them pretty easily. So being more delicate on the thin stuff and putting more heat in the thick stuff. It's been going pretty smooth. Everything's kind of been going up pretty fast. And do you have any advice for um, other tradespeople who are pursuing a career in welding? Ooh. Um... Start slow, I guess, in the beginning. Uh, it's not about speed, it's about quality. The speed comes from doing quality work enough times. I'm a diva when it comes to that. I love to make sure my welds look really, really good. So prepping definitely before I weld, getting everything kind of ready, making sure the machine's at the right amperage, being proud of the work that you do. So I guess seeing it from the ground, kind of the work it takes to build it up, and then the finished product when it's done to see how much time and effort went into that. It's very rewarding.